In this training video, we're going to look at variances for when a baseline's been set. So in this example, the baseline's been set, and I can check because I've got the baseline graphic on, and there's a little grey bar underneath the blue bar, so there's no variance. And I could also quickly check with one of my tables, and I'll check the variance table. So I can now see the baseline dates have been set, and there's no variance. So in this example, I'm going to create a variance. So for example, we might be in a situation whereby the engineering manager in this example is unavailable to start the project. The project's due to start in July, and for whatever reason, the engineering manager is unavailable. In this example, we're going to say long-term sickness, and this person is critical to this task. So this person has to be on a task. The HR manager can't do it by his or herself. So we're going to delay the task by, in this example, 20 days. So it's due to start on the 30th of July. So now there's what's called a constraint. So I'm going to double click task one, advanced, and I'm going to add a start no earlier than constraint, start no earlier than constraint, then 20 working days from the 30th of July. So I'm going to find the 30th of July and I'm going to work forward four weeks from there. So, one, two, three, four, 27th of August. And I'd also put a note to, to any constraint to say the reason. So, we'll say the engineering manager is off on, off with illness, off with long term illness. So, Okay, so now we've got the note, we've set the constraint, I'm going to click OK, and we can now see all the dates have changed, because the first, day, the first task was affected, and all the dates have now gone blue, so blue means effect of the constraint, so the constraint now has been added, and I can now see the constraint if I hover over it, and I can see a reason with a yellow note, so I can see the baseline graphic, the grey, is now where I should have been, the blue is now where, where I am. If I wanted to, under the Format tab, I can show the slippage. So if you like slippage and you want to see the lines to join together, for the baseline last saved, I can now join them together. So some people like joining the slippage lines, others don't. If you want to turn it off, back to the slippage and remove the arrow. We're now going to look at some of the tables that have been affected. So if I now go into the variance table, I can now see there's a 20-day variance throughout the project. So this is now the four weeks and four weeks with working days that have been affected by the engineer manager due to long-term illness in this example. So 20 working days. If I were to say to add another constraint along the way to say task 10, that would then show either a change for the better or for the worse in the variance. So, for example, if I delayed task 10 by five days, task 10 would then show 25 days from that point forward. So you'd see 20 days up until task 10. Then because I've delayed task 10 by five days, that, show, that would show 25, and so would every task onwards show 25. So you'll see the picture in a variance the more constraints that are set when you look at the variance table. Now if I change to my cost table, there is no variance at present. If I add a, in this example, a fixed cost, an extra fixed cost for job shortlisting, and I say I need another... £20,000 for that. that. That hasn't been agreed at budget time, but it's now additional. Now I can see there's a variance of 20000 from what I agreed. So when you've set a baseline, the two real tables that really show you what's happening, the, ba the variance table shows you any difference in dates and then you can see the total days difference the cost table starts showing you where your money's changed 
against the variance column in the cost table. But in this training example, we now see the power of when you set a baseline, the kind of information which can then be reviewed throughout your project and see what changes have occurred. But this completes variances within baselines. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.